You're watching iBrand TV, and this is Business Breakfast. The Infrastructure Concession Regulatory Commission is planning to gazette 53 legible and bankable public private partnership projects valued at $22 billion in 2022. Recently, the Acting Director General Chief Executive Officer uh, of the uh, concession, Michael Hiani, disclosed that. As of May 2022, there are 77 post-contract PPP uh, P project under implementation at the ICRC project uh, disclosure portal. The portal is the first disclosure portal in the world established in collaboration with the World Bank, according to Hiani. He further disclosed that the ICRC had issued about 128 outline businesses case compliance certificate to date, noting that these were certified bankable projects and the certificate will enable them to proceed to the procurement phase at the moment. So our focus is on assessing the ICRC's uh, $22 billion project plan in 2022 towards infrastructure development and how infrastructure development have fared under the Buhari administration. All right, for further uh, analysis, I've been joined by Ms. Adela Jadekombi, the general uh, Secretary, Nigerian Institute of Building. Well, thank you for your time. We appreciate you. Yeah, thank you. Good morning, Mr. Frank. Yeah, good morning. Uh, it's nice to see you. Uh, thank you for having me this morning. I'm yeah. grateful. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, nice to have you after a long time. All right, let, let's begin by, let me ask you uh, what your assessment is about the Buhari Administration Infrastructure Development Drive especially when you consider the borrowing approach of the government to fund infrastructure? Yeah, I am um, uh, going to be very honest this morning for, for us not to uh, be misled by figure. And that's what I've been doing. And that's why it's difficult for this uh, administrative to, uh, part uh, particularly administration, by why administration to not to get it right in terms of uh, infrastructure. Infrastructural development is a big deal everywhere worldwide. As I talk to you now, the major, the major aspect, major area of infrastructure, uh, of uh, American budget is infrastructure. Other country, basically, uh, they are not discussing any issue more than 80% uh, of their discussion. If I, if, I, if I say 80% is too much, let's say uh, 40 to 50% is infrastructure. And that's an area that uh, many developed countries base their budget because it has to do with a lot of things and are going to give a benefit to every country. But for this government, it, uh, I will want to say uh, a, partner, uh, a partner with uh, World Bank is... Uh, it's a very laudable one, but uh, uh, Nigerian side, we talked about infrastructure uh, development in pay on paper most of the time. So, $222 billion uh, infrastructure development plan. It's a laudable one, but uh, we don't always have issues with the planning. Mm -hmm. We don't have issues. Or the basic issues we have is implementation. Implementation is the problem of a Nigerian plan. And this is what we call it. We talk, we talk, we talk, we talk again. And uh, for this reason, I am believing that this is, the, the idea is good. But uh, uh, the, 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 the conception that we were looking at, that the uh, I. ICRC. Infrastructure Concession so, Regulatory Commission. Yes, I know ICRC. So if mm. we are looking at it in that angle, and we are looking at it in the PPP R, the PPP areas, I think is something that is achievable. Mm. But, but looking I at the figure involved, just a moment. Looking at the figure involved, that's about twenty-two billion uh, US yes. dollars indeed. How yes. realistic is this? Uh, you know, is this project? 22 billion US dollars. That's that's number one question. Number two question is, uh, the, the question out there is that how, what modalities, what approach is, uh, you know, Concession Regulatory Commission going to adopt, you know, to administer these 
amount of budget in this project? That's another question again. Yeah, 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 one thing that we have to get clear here that I'm still looking at is that uh, if we are going into the best practice, which is what is going on in the world now, the best, best practice is a uh, uh, public-private partnership. And then uh, if that what we are, the, uh, the I, uh, ICRC is looking into, Mm. I don't think we, we, we need to uh, exhaust that kind of uh, uh, money into the system. We know how it's operated everywhere. If you are doing a partnership business, uh, the, the money that you are going to be exhausted is not supposed to be uh, that kind of amount we are looking at. The amount uh, we are looking at right now is just on a figure that I think uh, it, it does not still commensurate or uh, commensurate with the PPR we are discussing. So a uh, private uh, uh, public partnership has uh, nothing to do with a uh, uh, regulatory regular body. So uh, it is a business that uh, we believe that uh, anybody can do. We come into it to do. And uh, when we now come to a regulatory body that will regulate the PP, uh, uh, PPP, uh, that's, and I guess that's where the $20 billion is going. For regulation, mm. and uh, I don't think that uh, is palatable. If we want, I, I know at the end of the day, what we're trying to say is that uh, the 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 commission will be the one to give a certificate, and the certificates that we uh, you know be giving uh, the partners mm. the eligibility to access funds. Mm. And uh, because yes, yes, uh, yes. I mean, they, you, they talk about the fact that they are already, you know. Uh, gazetting more like uh, you know partnering with about 53 you know eligible and uh, bankable public private partners you know that's what they are looking at however in terms of yes. in terms of regulation yes. because they are the regulatory yes. commission they are they, they are the, the yeah. one to regulate this you know so the environment the Nigerian environment let's look at the Nigerian environment and um, uh, the area you think we can begin to look at if you look at bank, for instance, most of the time um, for transaction, sometimes transaction is halted because of poor internet network. If you look at the roads, uh, sometimes the roads are, not, are bad and people cannot travel. If you look at rail again, so these are other different sectors or different aspects we can look at. But then in your own opinion, I mean, have, coming from that, um, you know, given your background, so where do you think the country needs to concentrate? Yeah, there are about 53 of them, but we need to look at uh, key sectors that we need to maximize. Perhaps the regulatory commission um, didn't, look at, didn't think about that. Yes, thank you, Mr. Frank. I, I think uh, you, are, you are taking me, uh, we are generally talking holistically before, mm. but you are taking me to my best area. Uh, if, you, if I want to uh, look at it from this three angle that you are looking at, I'm telling you, I don't know the kind of contractors we are talking about. I generally have issues with the people we call, the, the, the 52 people that we call contractors. What is their profile? What is uh, what, what, what have they been doing in the past? How do we know that these are capable and or they are not friends of the people in government? How do we know that we are really ready? Let me tell you, I I was I just came back from Canada just about a week ago. I we are talking about infrastructure. We are not there. Um, we are not ready to do what those people are doing. I'm going to be quoting you now. I want to take you on a road. Let's just take an infrastructure development of a road. And, and I'm going to take uh, Ibadan to Lagos. And uh, I will tell you that kilometer of Ibadan to uh, Lagos, and we have been constructing it for over 10 years. That small kilometer. And that's the road a company in China built in less than a year. That same kilometer. So uh, we are looking at it from angle of that's one area that I'm just going to be looking at because mm. it, it, anything that has to do with money, it has to do with timing. 
And if you look at that same project, is it the same name, the same people that we are looking at? Maybe let's give an example of, uh, don't let me give comp a company, don't let me contradict the one we are using there. Uh, if that a single project of that such kilometer can be done in 10 years, so what company have this, uh, what 52, uh, 53 company have they set aside to come and do this project? I am not saying this as a reliable project. Even World Bank, we also want to question contractors who are doing, who we are looking at for this kind of uh, big money, $22 billion. That's one area I'm looking at. Number two is that if you go, if we are saying we are doing infrastructure up to today, how can we be doing, doing three lanes from Ibadan to Lagos? Well, between all other states, within Ontario, within, the, uh, within Ontario and uh, Toronto, you see, this lanes have to be, we are doing it once and for all. Lanes have to be more than eight, six, seven lanes. So, so that's, that's infrastructure. Now, not this kind of road we are doing. And we are also doing it for... See, this we still I want to waste of time and money. This money we are looking at. Because figure okay. is what we are interested. And these are the kind of money that is creating problems to our dollars. Mm. Because we just bring this Let me quickly jump in here. Mm, le yeah. Let me jump in here. Let's narrow down a, a bit on the roles of, uh, you know, uh, Infrastructure Concession Regulatory Commission. What their roles yeah. are. I mean, how the, what the of oversight functions and all of that. Perhaps we need to start from there addressing, because you talk about the fact that, for instance, the Badu Expressway, which is supposed to be, you know, rounded up in, in less than one or two years. I mean, it's taking yeah. up to 10 years. Um, so where is yeah. the, what is the role of, um, you know, the regulatory commission here? That is where I'm coming from. That's where I'm coming from. That, that this is misplaced priority. The regulatory body is supposed to be uh, the one uh, in charge of controlling the uh, the capability and the capacity of those who are involved in this job. But I'm not telling you that. Is it? Have we really put the uh, measure in place concerning the uh, the commission? The regulatory body, the people there, are there people who know about the infrastructures, who know who are qualified to, to determine this? Or are we just looking at their role, uh, 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 looking at the role from the area of the money involved, uh, that the money involved, that's what everybody will be looking at? Mm. Or are we ready to bring those people, uh, their role, are they ready to bring people who are capable, who are masters in this kind of project? to come and be doing. So they, they should not misplace their priority in this in this world. If we really want to get infrastructure, I believe that we should get a real infrastructure that other country, advanced countries are getting. Because what we do here now, the regulatory body will sign a, uh, we agree with uh, the, the, the government and give them a contract that uh, after three years, We'll be thinking, like me now, if you make a government, a, a, any government official or you make a house of assembly, I expected that from me, but by now, we should not do anything less than eight leads on both sides. And that's what we call infrastructure. This one we are just are doing, we are just trying to do, and if you look at the money involved, the, the money is too much for us to say we address this kind of project the, uh, another, in another five years, we want to address it again. We are not doing one for all. Even the, the people that have snow, that have snow used to spoil their road, they are very effective and the roads are very functional and they are doing, uh, they are, they are doing, they are, they are doing the best. And we don't have, we are so lucky, we have a very good weather here. Yeah. At the end okay. of the day, we are still not doing what we are supposed to do. So, misplaced priority of the, uh, of the uh, commission is also what I'm looking at. Are they created to be, uh, Check making figures or they are creating to give us the real infrastructure that is needed. That's mm. the one million question we have mm. for the reason for creating that commission. Mm. Uh, let me also ask you if you look at from rail to uh, in, in, internet infrastructure, you know, to waterways, um, if you look at that holistically in terms of 
if you have to close the gap because there's a huge infrastructure deficit across the country. If you talk about from road, rails, uh, internet, and all, all, what have you. Now, how much do you think will be, will be okay to address this significantly? Some of the deficits we, we've recorded so far in the last five, ten years. Yes, uh, I, we want to cite a sample of what we are doing when it comes to uh, amount. I'm going to cite a sample to you. Uh, we have some figure we can go on the internet. Uh, I won't be making uh, on get this figure. I explained something in Canada recently. There's a, uh, there's a service provider they call Ruga. And they are, they are just like yet. They are, they are everybody is subscribed to uh, Ruga than any other person in Canada. They, 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 went, they, they broke down in eight hours. In eight hours. And the whole system in Canada went down. Everybody went down. Uh, the banks went down. Everything went down. No operating. But at the end of the day, the first thing they do, they, they realize what they have done and decided, you know, uh, giving out with community that we have, uh, we have not experienced this for long. And so uh, they have got to that level in their own areas. And we also we are trying, Nigeria is trying when it comes to, uh, when you look at the whole Africa, when it comes to uh, uh, this, uh, the banking system, we are, we, are, we, are, we are not there yet, but we are, we are trying. But we need a very big uh, companies who are doing well, who, are, who, have, who have got to uh, a, a level where issues like this, banking problem we have in Nigeria, the non-effective uh, banking system, internet, usage, and all those things. If we, I believe that we need to search for those big companies to come over, to come and showcase uh, how to do it. But the major problem is not even the service provider. The major problem is inability for us to, to have electricity. That is a big infrastructural deficit that we are looking at. Without that, there's nothing we can do electricity so if we are facing the uh, a reality of on ground the electricity is the four, is the 95 percent area we need to okay. for the and let's go on figure mm. i want to go on figure if you, what i'll tell you that if you look at the train okay. uh, i'm charging an mm. example look at the train that Lagos okay. state government J is just a over. moment just a moment, Mr. Adekombi. I mean, you talk about Figo, but before you talked about that, I want us to quickly, you know, take a break. And when we return, of course, you start on Down North and we wrap up. All right. Just All right, a moment. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're still watching Business Breakfast. We'll take a moment now, please. Stay with us. We'll be back in a moment. I was still talking about uh, infrastructure development and, of course, assessing uh, the uh, PPP, 
which of course the ICR uh, is gazetting about 53 of them, all right, in an investment uh, deal worth 22 billion uh, US dollars. That's what we're looking at as well. Thank you, Mr. Adekonbi uh, has been a guest on the show. Thank you for your time. Now, just before we wrap up, I want you to tell us, because we were talking about what they did in China, what are some of the things that you think we can learn from the developed nations and a kind of template we can duplicate here, if necessary? Yeah, uh, Mr. Frank, um, I'm happy for you to, uh, again, to bring us back on this page. I, one of the things that is missing here is honesty. And uh, infrastructure has been uh, an area that is not everybody that knows about how it's done and how to do it. So mm -hmm. the first thing is honesty. If we are not honest, no matter how you put uh, $200 billion on ground, it's going to be wasted. So, and I'm saying this from the angle of uh, the, how much the Nigerian government is doing a kilometer of the, of what they are doing. And what, how much are they doing it in other countries? I'm going to be citing an example to you this morning. I'll use uh, Ethiopia as an example. And the, the money Nigeria is, the Lagos State is using to do in rail, that's a, a Lagos State government in conjunction with our World Bank. The money to do that a kilometer of rail, that same money is doing a kilo, five times kilometer in Ethiopia. All right. They, mm. they, they don't have water in mm. Ethiopia. So what they do, they have to do a rail from Ethiopia to a neighboring okay. country. Mm. That, let's so start to wrap it up now. Yes. Yes. Um, yes. Let's try and wrap so, it up now. So, yes. Yeah. Um, that's one of the areas I'm trying to look is honest. We must put honesty in what we are doing. Mm. And another area is that we have to have to borrow brain from the developed country. We need to send our own to outside for every project we want to do, electrical, everything. We need to send our brain to learn. Totally. If we are engaging a, a, a company or a contractor in Nigeria, let us learn how to attach our own professionals that we have taught in the school to also learn from them. Instead of them being the one who hang up for over uh, 200 years that we are doing it, that uh, Jules Vega is doing. We are there to put some brain together in Jules Vega and we need to develop our own people and so that we can do it in a very short and small uh, amount of money. It's so right. that's what they are doing in other countries. And uh, if you look at, uh, let me give Indonesia, and it's right. that, that's what they are doing. That's how they get it very easy. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Adela Jadekombi, General Secretary, Nigerian Institute of Building. Thank you for your time and your thoughts on Business Breakfast. Yeah, uh, thank you very much, sir. Have, Have a great day. Sir.